Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we have the March Mining Farm update. With some exceptions, we are doing this on every first Tuesday of the month and talk through all the machines. We'll start with the GPUs again. Here still cards are coming and going. As mentioned already, I am selling my smaller cards or I'm consolidating them into newer cards. Also a general switching around of the cards I have in the various systems. I will feature more about the new additions to the rigs very soon on the channel. But just to leave you with examples, I still had cards like 1050 Ti's running. I consolidated the two last of those just now into a 1660 Super. Better efficiency, new card, better resale value or easier to use it in a build if I ever want to. As mentioned, more happening and on the way, which will of course be featured soon on the channel. Tell me in the comments if you have been getting any new GPUs lately. From what I heard from you guys is that the favorites at the moment seem to be 1660 Super, used 1070s or 5700 XDs on the AMD side of things. So what are you after at the moment? Please tell me in the comments. ASIC wise, yeah, besides that I'm running my one little new pack USB miner again for fun, I have to tell you something. For the first time in few long, I have no ASIC chip online at the moment. Now I also turned off my little Baikal Giant Plus. Looking back at the last month, it basically earned 11 bucks while costing me around 60 bucks. So well, nope. For now, I rather save the wattage and focus on GPUs until an interesting ASIC comes along. I'm looking out for S17 deals, but I will rather wait for a new generation of something. I do think there will be a new ASIC being dumped onto the public either before or after the Bitcoin halving. Mind though that this is just personal speculation. This leaves me with Baikal A2000 and L3 Plus off for better times <laughs> or for external hosting. The Z9 Mini is currently for sale. I did get some offers already, but did not want to part from it for too cheap. I have no problem with Dash sitting around for a good selling opportunity. Yeah, that was a bleak ASIC update for now, but I don't mind. With mining, you always have to be adaptive to the times. There was a time where in my location only ASICs made sense and GPUs didn't. Right now GPUs do okay and I'm not happy with letting the jet engine ASICs I have run for speculation. Oh yeah, and one thing, because of turning the Baikal off, the Black Miner F1 Mini FPGA had no place anymore as it was using the same power supply. Though, therefore this little baby moved, can you guess where it is, on top of this monster, which changed how it looked sometimes in the past month, more on that later. This means my office is now more mining room than my actual mining room, but well. It's still winter here in Austria and I can sit here in shorts and t-shirt. Therefore I only keep downstairs in winter what is too noisy for dividing it onto the house like the Octo Miner. I am recording the very audio you hear in the office room where I now also do most of the videos and well the microphone doesn't pick it up or I have too much to do about it in post processing. I say it's fine. In summer, of course the other way around, I try to keep as little machines as possible up here as I'm on the top floor and the cool basement room downstairs gets stuffed with machines again. Also, because I mentioned winter, I can proudly say for the second year in a row the general heating system of my house was off, except sometimes adding some heat with wooden stoves we have here and there. The heating system itself is an electrical pump, so basically I decided to rather spend a little more electricity by mining and have the heat as byproduct than just spending a little less electricity for only heating. Of course I still have the pump on for only water, but you really feel the difference. I did get offers for heat exchange pumps back in the bull market of 2017, but well, I should have could have made it back then. Still, plans like that are not forgotten and if they will happen you can be sure to see it on this channel. Yeah, besides that, as already mentioned, a lot of optimizations or maintenance on little things around the house, deck or farm. 
Some upgrades were featured on the channel, like the PSU Silent Mod or the Snowman. Some didn't make it on the channel yet, or were just normal part of mining. <laughs> For example, one of six China fans crapping out after almost exactly one year of use. But I think I might still be able to save it. I was not happy how the rig ended up looking it, and still am not. I think I have around 20 different fans lying around in the house, but not three of the same kind which would fit here. Meh. Also this month through a good friend of mine, shout out here, I also got my hands on a few servers to play around with in relation to crypto and or for example random eggs though. I thought I might get some content out of it for you, but long story short, Ryzen really blows away any older Intel Xenon. And because of so little cash, these nice things, while still usable for various tasks, are even weaker than a G4400, not even mentioning Ryzen with more cores and cash on random X, that is. For example, uh, I tested uh, double Xenon E5540s, but there were some things among this older tech which still might find their way onto the channel, but I have to see about that. <laughs> it's only a little spoiler as I did not get my hands on all of this stuff yet, only promises for now. Long story short, February was as expected, over too soon, a lot of working on different projects, looking forward to bring you more videos, honestly stuff like that keeps me from checking markets too much. It was nice to see some upswings, yeah, but nowadays I just try to optimize what I have and not get sucked up too much in daily price and hype. I'm rather for slow and steady instead of quick to the moon, but well, there's always some machine or project to work on. Thank you very much for tuning in to this monthly farm update. This was number 22. Please subscribe for more of these or general tech and crypto content. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.